to all that is occurring, not just to witness to it. Visualize yourself as a fearless bearer of positive, life-affirming change. It does not matter whether your brain can comprehend the future. All that is required is your heart willing to co-create a peaceful world where harmony links us together as one. When I talk about co-create, I'm not talking about big creator, a lot of little creator. Oh, I'm talking about all of us in a cooperation. Yeah, cooperation. Your mind has the tremendous ability to expand beyond its human limitations. The only reason nobody thought past or even up to leaderless resistance is because they never challenged themselves. <clears throat> Commanded to grant you access to the wisdom, knowledge, and technologies of life and be amazed at the generosity of Allah. Feel yourself in the presence of creativity, exploring wholesome new living environments. Embrace the spiritual freedom to build a world that is in harmony with Allah's wisdom. Controlled evolution is what we're talking about. Controlled evolution, not just outrunning and uh, like uncontrolled capitalism. It just keeps on. Now they're going to build a, a machine to do away with man. They already got the robots going to do They don't need a man. But the whole thing was labor saving devices to save the man from all, all that labor. Now since money is involved, now they don't create a, uh, they done already created a robot to do away with the man. They done lost consciousness of what the reason for being. We are deliberately, now this is something that Mokhtar said, I didn't bring it back to this what he said. First is what he said, we are deliberately setting up an environment in which each member, supporter, will keep an eye on everyone around the leadership. No one will be spared. Those who wish to contribute must be willing to work in this environment of suspicion and mistrust or do not work. Mukhtar quoted the eye from our writings. Suspicion in some cases is sin. And suspicion ain't no sin. If, if somebody busts you upside the head, every time you stick your head out the window, if you look around the next time and watch out, ain't that ain't no suspicion. It's, fact. it's everybody that left every time we do something. People pack up and leave. You was talking about uh, what Muhammad the other day. He stole in here. All right, what the hell? Great, that was something. Mr. Short. And all right, what the uh, what they what they charge us to do. And after he run around the track three times, he said, that's it, and he just leaves. He don't say bye or I'm busy. Not only him, nobody, they just do what they want. So here's what we're trying to say here. At this time, 2010 and a half, and that's seven years ago. Seven years ago. We are thinking along the lines, this is right after strategic management under condition of repression, that don't look like we're going to have any leaderless, we ain't going to have nothing but police. <laughs> so, we say everybody got to keep an eye on everybody. If you can't stand suspicion, don't come around here. Because if you come talk to me, I'm going to just smile at you like I always and just write it. I know that I got this a visit from the police today. He's the nicest guy in town. He's still the police. Why? Because everybody else has been the police. Why should the, ain't nothing I can do about it. I'm going just going by the numbers. So, 
Mukhtar says that I, I had built an uh, uh, environment of suspicion. I don't know that about it. <laughs> other people don't know that. <laughs> but uh, that, you can see we was thinking about going beyond back then. But we're going beyond into a new frontier without suspicion. <laughs> we're going to do it without all of that suspicion. We didn't already did psychological guerrilla warfare. We didn't did composting. We didn't did all all this stuff. You wouldn't believe it. I can make compost out there. We take the SHIT that the government give us and we turn it into fertilizer. That's what we said and all that. That's what we do. Have fun. Have fun. That man is 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 serious, but he's. Uh, He's a little mean. He, he, I mean, people don't even watch the good man. The world today is full of so much death, unnecessary death and destruction, that it's ran by psychopaths. And they don't even consider themselves psychopaths. When they introduce this to somebody. Now, on this time, we go into everybody with this. We're just writing this in language that people can, but we can, everybody we can get to, movie stars, Bill Gates, anybody, the new world, we're talking about the new world. Some of them are going to listen because some of them, there are people out there. A lot of people where we are, every time there's a need, history, you have to say a lot, creates the solution to the problem. It is those people that are, that are alive that come together and they visualize that optimal world they want to live in and they produce it. Okay, I'll speed up. There is a result we have endured, survived multiple plots aimed at isolating us, separating us, and or sabotaging our work. These interruptions have been continuous and unrelenting, manifested in the form of infiltrators agent provocateurs, saboteurs, destabilizers, rumor spreaders, energy consumers. Yeah. Who cares? We have observed certain trends here that fit into the larger global war on Islam. Note to workers and supporters of the Islamic movement. Beware of Zion. Ah, about that. Forget about that. They're done for. All the brothers, they're done. They're done. They can't uh, toward the global harmony. That's nice. I'll go back. I'll read it. Well known concept within Islam is Islam. Al Islam. The word Islam, several connotations including improvement, betterment, correction, reconditioning, and cultivation. In the long run, uh, we have to evolve. We will always be evolving until we die. When we crack the door on this barrier, we're going to just take a two week rest and get back to it. That's why we've been here so long. We've already been here. But, oh, oh, oh. So, I'm taking a rest. Why? Right, because we're going to be in this a while. This may be a 10 rounder, could be a 40 or 50 rounder. Of course, we said we trained up to 500 rounds. But when you're 72, a lot of times you'd be selling wolf tickets. You know, yeah, you got it, you can sell them, you can do what you want. We're fighting the biggest murderer and monster and killer. We can do anything we want, except get mad and get mean like him. We don't want to do that. So you get mean back with him, you'll be just like communists and everybody else. When you get in power, I've read some of the stuff and I've kind of seen it too, firsthand. Nobody want to do that. So guys to better living today was for that very point that we've talked about, a new frontier. So we've already, this stage, it says crack the barrier. But we have, we're already 
impose, impose barriers are meant they're there for you to crack them. This one records and uh, obstacles that are there for you to overcome. So talk about sound, speed, and everything else. Okay, and this this is the last stage of the whole. Uh, but we're in what we call a mop-up phase. But remember, we talked about exploiting the victory. We're exploiting the victory as we're moving into the, because we've already cracked the barrier, we're moving into that. So we could say all of our movement, all of our everything has led up to this. That's that stage. That's the first stage rocket. Now we got to have two stage and three stage rockets in one the big time, right? So we've broken the Earth's gravitational pull. We've broken the satanic pull of the Euro. Yeah, we've broken it. We've done everything we've said, we, we've done it. But remember, if we go to a new frontier, we don't want to go like Columbus and Sir Francis Drake and all of the explorers, whatever they had back in Europe, they brought it to where. In our new frontier, we're going to clean up. That's what exploiting, uh, we want to, uh, what do we want to? We're not trying to bring baggage. If you want to do right, personally, you already kind of got a chance at paradise. So, technically, <laughs> not do we plan around. Remember, if you do a good deed, you get one blessing for that. Or two blessings. If you want to do the deed and can't do it, you still get a blessing. Just for one or two. <clears throat> Purposeful exploration. New age, even motivators. I don't know if y'all got it, but I got stacks of motivational tapes. And I tested myself on the best one, the best three or four, four last week. I still like them, but we didn't move past. Way past them. Because, see, we have bigger challenges than they do. The challenge for those motivation, they're motivating people. You want to be rich. So all you do is cooperate with the government. You can trick the people, and you have to overcome obstacles. Uh, people stealing your money and getting tricked, but not tricked by the government, not tricked by trillionaires, but just tricked by your neighbor who ain't got no sense. Right? They don't have to fight. We're fighting against someone, something that never loses our life. The government scares people just to think about it. Bill Gates and may not fought no government, so they're not as far as we are. They got more money. But they ain't gonna fought the government. Yeah, well, a little bit. But not like just a little bit. Yeah. Just a pinch. A pinch. Yeah. Uh, impossible dream. Somewhere over the rainbow. I don't want to sound like the Judy Garland fan or uh, everybody sang that song. To me, it's a song of progress and possibilities. Somewhere over the rainbow. Blue skies, it's dreamland, that's what it is. And I move toward a close with this. I believe that dreams are possible. Because as of yet, I haven't dreamed of nothing and haven't did it. Uh, Brother Tufael and I were talking today about uh, living the life that you want to live. That means we have to codify all of what we're talking about and we have to present it to people. 
I presented in movies, where I put, presented in talks, lectures, seminars. There are people that feel the way they do. They don't know what we do. They just don't know. So when I'm in California, I'm going to be going to Hollywood. I'm going to be talking to everybody. I said, man, da, 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 we got to look. What do you think about this? And guess what? They work in the dream industry. You'll never know who you're going to get. I, I feel all of this is the, since this is the way we're going, I believe that all that is, all the Bill Gates and all that, I saw an article the other day, Bill Gates is back, is now wants to help the poor. But Bill Gates needs to know how to really help the poor. And we just whisper to him, Bill, we got to do a, a new deal. What is that? We got to take consumerism and money out of the next phase. It's like the preachers, when we tell the preachers, no, oh, this won't be hard. Just, you know what you read about Jesus? Just live like that. And just have the poor, serving on the mount, that's all. Hey, don't worry about salvation, just do yeah, like Jesus. what Jesus did. Just do just what you really did. Just do that. Hey, man. So when we tell Bill Gates, even Warren Buffett and all them people, because he had a lot of money in them. After a while, they're trying to figure out all the other big boys in the past. According to our research, they almost went crazy trying to get rid of their money. Now we're going to tell them use your money to get rid of money, use war to establish peace. It doesn't sound bad, but I mean, you know. <laughs> no, we got to, only thing is. We have to make, not make it as long winded as what we are now. We have to have this thing. Transformation, transcendence. We have to uh, transform the world. How are we going to transform the world? We're going to give it about 15 years of rest. Da -da -da -da. Not too much production. The air will clean up, the earth will clean up itself. Then after that 15, maybe 20 years, <coughs> we will have worked out some type of equilibrium, then we can decide. First, we got to make two decisions. What type of world do we want to live in now? That's the first thing. We live in this kind of world. We got to go say almost the same thing. OK, now, how do we get there? Oh, I just want everybody to act funny. Yeah. Because yeah. acting funny being the ones that have everything going to have to neutralize a little bit. And that boy and that stuff who's writing about property, man, utopian socialism, so that is utopian socialism. That the big rich people go share their wealth with the poor people to establish, I mean, and share the means of production in our old age. He sounds crazier than I do. I'll tell you in the Quran that that ain't going to have, that the people that have all that stuff, if you think they're going to give you this, that, and other, you got to be kind of uh, spiritual or divine like man to get That's that. why we're going for the big ones first. Notice I mentioned Bill Gates and Warren Buffett now. You go for the very richest, close to medium rich, they ain't got enough. These guys have got so much that it hurts their head. You don't think it's true? It happened to me. I mean, I didn't get that much money, but I got so much. Oh, I was, from coming from the cotton patch to where we was, that was a lot of money. So I know how they feel. We got to offer them. That's, that's what the people do. At the time, they solved the problems of the time with the people that Allah present them. This team jumping ahead of, uh, what's this? Leaderless resistance? You don't know what form it's going to take. Not exactly, but we have some ideas, and we're going to experiment until we get it. That's all. This is the stage we're in. Dear believers, I just wanted to say this before going back to California. Now, that means the next few days I'm going to be getting ready to 
go back to California. You say you could have those. I think I can. By get, Tuesday. By Tuesday, yeah, I'll okay. drop them off by you Tuesday morning. Okay, this almost a year. Uh, here we, go ahead. we don't have to get back on that certain date. But uh, we will be gone no less than a week, inshallah. We'll say no more Sunday program. We've got not to have no more Juma. But we do have to make some DVDs. Yeah, I'll get them to Because what, remember, one of the simple things that we do that don't cost us nothing. Baltimore to Richmond. We didn't do that ourselves. If these ran here, we go out every week, we go to every program. Within six months' time, we will have saturated. So, if we give out ten and they throw eight of them in, it's okay. We're not going to do anything with the money anyway, but a school or something for the kids. Same thing in, in Oakland. I'm taking a few now just to get warmed up and taking the loudspeakers so we're just getting warmed up and getting busy. But warming up to us is really part of the fight. It's like when you're warming up on iron, you're getting stronger. You're just warming up, but you're still getting up. Yeah. So anyway, thank you all very much. Are there any questions or any comments about anything that was said? Anything that wasn't clear? The new frontier, we in it. But what we did up to this period led up to this. Everything that happened in the past, whether in the criminal world, in the Islamic world, whatever it was, it led up to this. So I have any questions, any comments at all? Okay, if not, thank you very much. Akulakali Hala, Mustafa Allah, Niwana.